A man starting out his trip from Medellin, Spain, through his life to Cuba, and eventually conquering the Aztecs of Tenochtitlan. One man. And yeah, just one man. No one else has done this. So leads one man who conquered the Aztecs and took down their empire with little to no difficulty. His name was Hernán Cortés a Spanish conquistador. Hernán Cortés was born in 1485 in Medellín, Spain. His parents were Martin Cortés and Catalina Pizarro Altamirano. His parents wanted him to go to college, so in 1499 he attended the University of Salamanca, which he didn't like too much, failed at law, and bailed. Cortez had heard stories about the New World and joined an expedition to the West Indies. This expedition was led by two people, Nicolas de Ovando and Diego Velasquez. Their goal was to conquer Cuba, and with their voyage of 2,500 settlers and 30 ships, Cuba was quickly subjugated by the Spanish expedition force, towns were established, and in 1514, Hernando Cortes settled on the island of Cuba and became a rancher. Still in the year of 1518, Velasquez decides to explore further and chooses Hernando Cortes to conquer a colony inside of Mexico. And so Cortes sailed to the Yucatan Peninsula and eventually marched inland towards Tenochtitlan. He also, con on the way, he conquered a town of Tabasco and met a woman named Malinchi who became his mistress, guide, and interpreter. Cortez eventually establishes the town of La Villa Rica de la Veracruz, and to prevent any possibility from escaping, he lit their ships on fire so they couldn't retreat. And eventually he arrived to Tenochtitlan. Cortes faced no resistance from the Aztecs on his way or in into Tenochtitlan. This is because the Aztecs believed that he was a god, a light-skinned, bearded god by the name of Quetzalcoatl, and he was prophesied to return at the same time Cortes appeared. Montezuma did not stop Cortes and his forces from entering Tenochtitlan. When they entered, they met no resistance and established a headquarters, and, but to maintain Cortes's position, he kidnaps Montezuma. For disobeying orders, Velasquez sent 1,400 soldiers to arrest Cortez. Hernando Cortez decided to march to the coast to take care of the problem. When he returned to Tenochtitlan, he was attacked by thousands of Aztec warriors. The Aztec attack was prompted by the slaughter of 600 Aztec nobles while Cortez was away. Cortez reacts to the situation by releasing Montezuma from captivity, although it did not work as Montezuma was stoned to death. Cortes and his soldiers are forced out of Tenochtitlan. There was also a plague. A disease called smallpox, which spread to the Aztecs from the Europeans, which originally started from an African slave and spread to the Aztecs, infecting many. On August 13, 1521, he returns with reinforcements and Tenochtitlan falls to Cortes. He conquered 5 million Aztecs with less than a thousand soldiers. Many people would argue that um, Cortez's success was mainly because of luck. While that is true, at the same time, his accomplishment was huge. He conquered a whole empire, 5 million Aztecs with less than a thousand men, and discovered parts of California which is why I believe he is the explorer of the century and the conqueror of the century.